Hi everyone, AskOS here, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD Hero Mode. Last time, we entered the Forest Temple, made our way through it, rescued a few monkeys, and this time, we're gonna head across this little chain, uh, swing... thing, that they've made for us out of the ruins of the old bridge. We're gonna swing right on across, and figure out what it is they wanted us to do so badly. Also, there's more of these, like, little rotating bridges in the wind, but just like uh, from over there, they're completely out of sync. So, we can't do anything with them at the moment. Also, these would probably give you hearts, but hero mode. Hero mode. Time to uh, fight a monkey. So yeah, there are these uh, <laughs> these little plants up top. What you want to do is roll into the pillar when he's uh, throwing his boomerang and knock him off. And then you just want to wail on his exposed butt, which, ow, that's gotta hurt. I'm sorry, I just say I love this music. Now all you gotta do is jump attack him a few times and. He's already done. Hard boss, right? <laughs> I didn't even get to say much about him. He has a few attacks, but honestly, just just jump attack the heck out of his butt. That sounds really weird. I mean, I'd probably have the same reaction if someone just, like, Slap me in the butt with a sword like 20 times. I'd probably have the same reaction. I am the Fairy of Wind who resides in this boomerang. You have freed me from evil, and I now have my true power back. Please, take it with you. Use it to aid, you, aid your quest. And may both my power and my blessing go with you. If you focus power in your boomerang before releasing it, it will unleash the power of wind, aiding you in unforeseen ways. That's what we're getting! We got the Gale Boomerang! This mysterious boomerang houses the Fairy of Winds. It sucks things up with Gale Force. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yay, we now have an actual item, and we can start with five targets at a time. I bet even the monkey should be satisfied now. Okay, let's continue calming this place. We've already found something good. So let's keep searching for places we haven't looked yet. Well, now we have a way to create our own gust of wind. Also, we can finally get that fishing rod off the screen. So yeah, we have... Basically, a tornado boomerang is what I'm gonna call it. That gale boomerang. I'm gonna call it the tornado boomerang. Come on, you know if there's a way to upgrade this. That, that's probably be what it's called. Um, I don't know, get out of this room. They're gonna make it use it. Also, I really have a terrible item. Oh, I have it reset to a terrible button there. Let me, uh, switch that. Cause I have to use ZR to target, but I'm using R to... Hold on a moment, uh... Somewhat better, there we go. Yeah, you have to hit this pinwheel multiple times. Something you can do, though, is set the same target for multiple, uh, hits. Like so. And boom! Open the gate right back up. Now, now that we got this boomerang, obviously, we now have access to some new areas. But, there's also some things that have opened up in some previous areas that I want to show off. Luckily, we don't really have to backtrack to them, though. Why? Because now... Nope, wrong, wrong thing. Now, we actually have a method to deal with these... wind things. And we see, there may still be a few monkeys trapped around here. However, that one's kind of ready. So what's the solution? Not 
throw it into the void. Try that again. Motion controls. Lovely. Seriously, these monkeys should be really injured by now with how violently we're destroying their cages. Also, if I could do that from the beginning, that'd be so much easier. Well, I guess there are just some monkeys you haven't freed yet. At this point, you should just save them all. And see what you can get for it. Yep. Anyway, if we head back over here, we see this is the other side of those uh, platforms we saw earlier. Now we can go back from the opposite direction. Which is handy, because this is the exact area I want to grab some items real quick. Now we got to go boomerang, some, some things have opened up. First off, something I want to show off real quick is that you can bring these bomb guys to- Let me try that again. Okay, you can bring these bomb guys toward you. Okay, maybe not that one. <laughs> Uh, oh god, wait! Right, I've turned the game off between last time and now. They're back! <laughs> Whoops. Right. <laughs> yeah, enemies respawn when you turn the game back off. Just, just keep that in mind. I forgot. Also, I forgot to show off Uku last episode. I'm gonna try to remember to at the end of this episode to show off Uku. Because that way I also won't have to trek through back, back to the dungeon. There is a cutscene there and I want to show it off because it's incredible. Now if we head into this room, this is the room, remember, where there was a treasure chest way on the other side of the room there behind the staircase. However, we couldn't get to it because the torches were lit. We had a way to light them, but not a way to unlight them. You can probably bet that's changed now, but also, this has changed! We can get rid of the tiles and the giant creepy insect die! Ah, I hate these things. They're so creepy looking! I don't like bugs. I really don't like bugs. Ah, like, I'm fine with reptiles and stuff, except for snakes, but I can't stand insects. These are... You know, I like to like Prince is looking realistic, but this is disturbing. But yeah, we if we uh, use the gill boomerang on the torches, they go out. Oh god. Ah! No, go back upside down. Ah. I I cannot let these things live. They must die as violently as possible. <laughs> Don't like them. Uh let's go ahead and actually no, we don't have to do the other one. Alright, for our troubles, we get our second piece of heart. That was all two pieces of heart from the dungeon. So we are good to start heading toward the boss. Or the end of the dungeon, anyway. Anyway, first off, though, I want to head back to the main room where we... Where all the, uh, different areas opened up from. Because, if I remember, there was a hanging chest in there, too, from one of those spider webs that we couldn't get. Like everything else, the yellow boomerangs kind of opened that up to us. I don't really care about the enemies. Oh yeah, and the monkeys have turned here too, by the way. Anyway, if we aim directly up, we can just kind of destroy everything in here. Get yeah, a few blue rupees, but more importantly, we get... A delayed... A delayed response. The compass! Well, show, shows where objects are hitting in the dungeon. This is a little late to get this, but hey. Well, if it isn't something useful. As long as you have that, you should be able to find where the captured monkeys are, right? That's right. So, now we have a complete and accurate map of the dungeon. But it also shows... How do I... Wait, how do I move this? Okay. Uh, wait. Wait, uh... Well, I just realized, I don't know how to actually move the map, but... I'll figure that later. But you can see in the uh, map the monkey icons, as well as a few treasure chests. Speaking of 
Which, it looks like there was one I- Oh, wait, I remember. I think I remember what the one I missed in here was. I don't remember if it was anything good, but... I mean, it doesn't hurt to look. Where was it? That was in here, didn't it? That's not the map. Yeah, it's in here. So it's somewhere up... Oh, right, right. Okay, we, we could have actually gotten this way earlier. My bad. I am going to try to clear out these dungeons pretty much. But if we head up here, which... Again, this was delayed. We could have got this right away. I forgot this chest even existed. I swear if it's a Hylian stamp. I don't think it is. We get... 10 rupees. Okay, that one really worked it. But, hey, I'm trying to clear the dungeon, so that works, I guess. Yeah, if you don't care about that, don't go for it. I actually do want to get more rupees pretty soon, though, so... It's welcome. I Meaning, I'm probably gonna stop by Link's house and get that, uh... Treasure chest. If you're wondering what that treasure chest in the basement of Link's house had, since I forgot to show it, it has 50 rupees, which is pretty good, actually. If, if you have the time, I would get it. Just, I The only reason I didn't is because I forgot. <laughs> but you should, by all means, you should have that by this point. And if we head back through here... Again, I don't really need the lantern, but I know it's really ducked off. There was something else in here that we could get as well. Uh, real quick. Uh, every time. Every time. Uh, there's signals on a shop. First, we have a very interesting puzzle here. I don't know how little Andrew gets stuck in this, but... Uh, well... Let's just say, when I was younger, I got very, very stuck on this, and I'm embarrassed to say it. But what you want to do is hit these pinwheels in the order they appear on the ground. You see there's a line going from each of these? You want to hit them in that pattern. Sometimes it is a little janky and you know, touch the wrong one out of order, but most of the time it'll get it right. Anyway, we can finally get this very ornate looking chest and get... The big key, which really should be called the boss key, because that's what I'm gonna end up calling it. I know it. Yeah, now we can enter the dungeon's boss. So now we just have to figure out where that is, and... Wrong button. If we look in the map, we can see that's all the way at the top. There are some monkeys and chests in the way, though, so we'll be exploring around. Anyway, aside from that, just something a little interest. Wrong item! Something a little interesting I want to show off is that... You can actually cut the bridge. That's really funny. And yes, it will break. <laughs> that's that's really funny. I can't help but shove it off. Anyway, though, this is exactly where we need to be. Oh, mini map. That might be helpful. Uh, where's the exit again? Right over here. If you get out of, if you get stuck in the water in this room, it is kind of annoying because you have to swim all the way back. But oh well, it's not that bad of a swim. Anyway, if I remember, the only way to actually get to the upper portions is in a room we were stuck in before because we couldn't control the wind. We can control the wind now, and hey, the monkey's here waiting for us! Back to following the monkeys! Right, we were stuck in this room before because we couldn't go forward, but now that we've got the boomerang... We can clip inside the monkey's head with our camera, but we can force our way forward. Now, I will be up front with y'all, uh, if I can show the map. Uh, one door is very clearly locked. The other one is not, however... To be totally honest with y'all, we're gonna have to come back here anyway, so I say just plow on forward. Something else I wouldn't mind getting first. I see a rupees. I'm kind of hoping I get a chance to use the red potion before I uh, get to the end here. There's a reason for that. And if we head in this room, we see the boss key. 
or boss door is right along the way. However, uh, we need more monkeys. It's really weird. I remember really disliking the monkey mechanic when I was younger. But, eh, it's growing on me. I guess in order for us to check the temple out completely, we need the help of the monkeys. Oh well, let's help the rest of them. Minna, you got a soft spot for monkeys or something? Not judging, just... Why? Now, what I want to do is head over this way, because we can see in the map... That's not the map! There is a monkey and a treasure chest in a room to the right of us here, so... If we keep, uh, switching these platforms around, we can get up there. Okay, ow! I assume that's gonna happen. Uh, we can stun them with a the boomerang, but it doesn't do much. So now what we can do is, I believe, attack these with the... Yeah, if you attack them with a the boomerang, they die all the same. Unfortunately, that one's a little... Too high up! Uh, wait. Please die. There we go. That was more annoying than it needed to be. And there's another one! Great. I do like the aesthetic of this temple slightly in this area, just because you can see it is, like, actually a structure. And it's been, just been really run down. I mentioned last time that I didn't like the aesthetic overall, just the whole dark, spooky forest aesthetic doesn't really do it for me. But it is kind of nice to see that it's not just like straight up the Deku Tree from Ocarina of Time, which was literally just a dank tree. You can probably tell my least favorite dungeon in that game is. Well, second place, but we're not playing that game, so who cares. Uh, is there anything down here? Link, drop down. What's down here? Oh. Nothing. Uh, pardon me one moment. Sorry about that interruption, I... Kinda talked a little bit without a breath, and I just had to take a deep intake just then, so... Don't let me, also... Anyone else see their heads just kinda move? Now in this room, I can finally show off the bomb thing I was wanting to, but first we gotta get rid of these guys. So. Uh, there's another one. There we go. Right, we can actually boomerang these guys to us. We can just straight up grab them, or we can lead them to other areas. Also, if they hit anything in the way, they will explode! Whoa! Um... That didn't work, right? Uh, let's try that again. Okay, ju just bring it to me. There we go. Whoops. <laughs> that was almost bad. For some reason, I thought he was gonna eat the bomb, but that didn't work right. And if we check this chest, we get a small key! There we go. That was That's the last small key we need in this dungeon, I believe. Anyway, what I tend to use this bomb for, and what I intend to drop while I go, is that we can lead the bomb into other things. Fun fact, I didn't realize this when I was younger, so I spent probably like 30 minutes just trying to throw this bomb at the right timing to blow up that boulder. You can't do it, I don't recommend it, just do- just do what I just did. Please, for your sanity. Oh, right, there's, uh, there's guys in the ceiling in here. Uh, you can- you can do just like the, uh, big boss monkey and cut them down, though, which makes them pretty easy to deal with. You can do the same thing if they're on the ground as well, but honestly, why would you when you just slash the height out of them? Uh, we hear a monkey, probably behind the, uh, boulder there. Again, just bring the bomb to you. Hopefully it doesn't blow up on the way, because I've had that happen. And throw it into the wall. What I- Uh, what I meant just then, though, is that if that bomb hits anything in its path, it will explode, even if it's, like, uh, like, barely tapping it. If it's a wall or anything in the way, it'll explode. I've had that happen with me right in front of it. 
Again. Not fun. Anyway, we're all done in this room for now, I believe. Nothing hitting. What am I saying? There's nothing on the map. Yeah, nothing hitting. I will say, out of every room in the dungeon, this one is probably my favorite. It's also surprisingly detailed for what it is. So, you know, point that out. Again, doing stuff in, uh, this little side project for a, a game design portfolio, and I'm having to deal with a lot with wood textures. You can tell this area has actually given me some ideas, so I didn't actually look at it this closely in my practice run. Okay, I'm getting some ideas from this. Anyway, so... Now I need to do a little bit of backtracking, and I don't like to puzzle. For the simple fact that I have to put so much effort to do that. It is way easier, though, with quick motion controls. I still prefer the Wii's motion controls, honestly, just because... Obviously, I can point at the screen, and it's way more precise. But this is faster. I will give it that. Anyway, it looks like we're about to have to have a duel here. I, I, see, this is something really doofy about that slow pause. Also, Link almost just jumped off the cliff there. God, I didn't try the finishing move on that one. Oh yeah, that could've been bad. And there's two rooms left, a monkey in each. Oh god. I knew it! Ah! I hate these things! Die! 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 Please die! Oh my god, I hate them. No, I see you! You're not escaping! I will kill you all! I don't care if I sound a little psychotic, I hate these things! Ugh. I like- I really like the way I try to that princess look, but sometimes it's just a little too realistic. Eh. And I would have preferred them to not have the HD treatment, if you know what I mean. Eh. Anyway, we see there's a bunch of pots around here, and there's... There's a chest in there or something? No, okay. You see, there is kind of a tunnel over here. There's clearly something in there. Uh, Link, okay. Apparently you can't jump attack off of ledges. I did not realize this. He totally got stuck in the wall. Okay. Just gonna ignore that. Oh. Wait, wait, Link, Link, Link. Okay. I don't know if they work like how they do in uh, Ocarina of Time where they'll run at you. I would imagine they would, but just, just knock him off the wall just to be safe. Oh, right, another one of these. Okay, wrong button. I have a mushroom choke right off. What you want to do is hit both of those at the same time. If you hadn't figured that out by this point, that you could do that, though. I'm really not sure why they need to reinforce that. I guess it's just cool. Okay, this is a good time to show this off. Come on, before the rippy disappears. You can also bring items and stuff to you with the boomerang. Whether they're just out of reach intentionally, or whether they get stuck like that rupee did, apparently. Yeah. Get, get out of here. What? Okay. At least now I have a reason to use that uh, red potion. Alright, let's get the final chest of the dungeon. And the stamp for the Hylian letter N. Eh. <laughs> right. <laughs> Well, we got that. Again, not going for the Hylian stamps, but... They're a thing? If you want them, just to say you got them. I guess... Uh, wait, wait, wait. Get on the platform first. Like I said, they're completely useless now that Miiverse has ended. But if you just want them for bragging rights, feel free. I don't actually know where all of them are, though, either, which is why I'm not going for them. Well... For a separate select few. This is the wrong way. <laughs> Might help if I use my map, huh? Yeah, I think this is one issue I had for some reason growing up. I don't have as much now. No, I really just did. But I used to get so turned around in this dungeon. Like, it's weird. I definitely have a greater appreciation for this dungeon now. When I was younger, I thought this dungeon was really bad. Just kind of hard. 
Now, it's very stupid to say this is a hard dungeon now, but I used to think that, right, right, wait, wait. Wait. <laughs> Waste more time, why don't you? Uh, yeah, we forgot a monkey. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Okay, this way. My bad, uh... I almost forgot you, monkey. Oh. Probably not the best place to be forgotten. Uh... Oh, hi there. Uh... Eh. Not as bad as the worms, but I don't like the other side. Right. You can... If it, yeah, that's something you can do with these scotulas. If you're just really sick of uh, waiting for them to expose their weakness, just boomerang them and stun them. That'll open them up. Uh, anything good in any of these pots? Ah, I see another spider up there. Oh, I don't want to walk underneath that. Hmm. Oh, that kind of broke the camera there for a moment. Now, we hear there is a monkey in here. What we're going to need to do, though, is get out our lantern and not row and use it on these webs. And boom, our fairy And that is the last monkey, however, there are a few other things in this very creepy basement. First off, don't go down the other web! That will eat you. Second, uh, no spider. There we go. I'm just gonna get rid of the uh, current threat. And it drops a red rupee, which is good. Oh, nice. I don't actually have to look for more rupees. I was trying to get up to about 200 rupees for something important. Uh, oh, this is uh, dark. Okay, I have to keep the lantern now. I was wanting to get to 200 rupees. It's not going to be anything happening soon at all. Well, okay, maybe like relatively soon, but... Uh, there wasn't I wanted 200 rupees for, however, we're easily there, so I don't have to worry. Anyway, with that, looking at the map, we have pretty much cleared out the entire dungeon. So all that's left is the boss. I guess we can head on over there, however, I think we're probably going to end the episode pretty soon. We're running pretty close up on... yes, the right way. <laughs> we're, pretty, we're running pretty close up in 30 minutes here. And I don't want to get bogged down in the boss and likely cutscenes that will come after, so... We will go ahead and get to the other side of the room. Monkey! And they form a chain of monkeys! Very reminiscent of that one game. I don't remember what it's called, though. Anyone else play that game, though, where you could chain the monkeys together? What was that called? It was like a really old game. I don't remember it. it went, I don't mean like a video game, either. Although I'm sure there's an adaptation, but... It was like a really old, like... Was it a board game or something? I don't remember. You may have not even been supposed to chain the monkeys together. That's just what I did. But... I remember being able to do that. Also, these vines go nowhere, don't bother with them. Real quick, I actually want to drink my red potion. More so to empty the bottle. Cause, just so I know, there is a fairy generally at the entrance to every boss in every dungeon. And those are basically an extra life. They're a free revive that happens automatically. There it is. You can scoop it up in a bottle, and it'll activate automatically upon death. These are godsend in hero mode. These are really useful. They only revive up to eight hearts. I'm just gonna go ahead and immediately get that off. By the way, 
But yeah. Anyway, with that, we've made it to the end of the dungeon. However, there's one more thing I want to show off this episode. So this one I alluded to before, but I forgot to show off and pay for it. There is a cutscene for showing this, which is why I pay for it. But if you want to exit a dungeon and not lose any progress, whether it's just because you want to quit the game and not be put back to the entrance, or you just need to actually go back and get some items, use Uku. Oh, did you want to leave? I can whoop you right out. You can return here, so there are no worries. Yeah, th this is right. Uh, if you use Uku to warp out and warp back in, you will be able to go right back to the room you were at, no problems. Now, she will take you to the door you enter the room in, meaning when I warp back in here, I will be back on the other side of the room, but that's far better than redoing the entire dungeon. Warp out. Yes, yes, now, I'll leave it to me. Ah, uh, uh, that's that. Oh, uh. why is Zoda so weird? Let me introduce you. This is Uku Junior. Anytime you want to warp back to the spot from outside, ask him. If you want to meet me at the entrance rather than warping here, just go there and I'll meet you. Now, bon voyage, you two. Zoda's so weird. Zoda keeps her a little weird. Just a little bit, but we are back at the entrance to the dungeon. Now, for now on, I'm not going to be showing that, because that was the only time there was a cutscene. I just wanted to show that off. But, yeah. Anyway, now we're actually going to end the episode. Thank you all for watching this episode of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. We made some pretty good progress, basically finishing the dungeon. And next time, we're going to fight the boss. Uh, excuse me. Thank you all for watching. I have been RSKOS, and I will see y'all next time. Apparently, I am hungry, because my stomach kind of growled then. I'm gonna go eat now. Bye!